Hey, so we got a change coming tomorrow. There are people like my mother. I mentioned this in the last hour. She likes it about 75 degrees, morning clouds, maybe some sunshine. Mom's excited. That's going to happen tomorrow. There you go. Big change. So the clouds have arrived at the coastline. It was sunny about an hour ago. You're going to have some sprinkles on the coastline this evening, some light showers tonight. Here in the valley is the west wind is in northwest wind is picking up. And uh, it's cooled off to 81 up at our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro camera. It cooled off a little earlier than normal today. In fact, you can see a few white caps out there on the river. The northwest wind gusting to 17 there. And you see the flags moving around while well, they were whipping around a bit more just before we went on there. But to 82 degrees here in the city, uh, we made it into the mid 80s. Good news, I do not see significant fire smoke throughout most of the region through the next two days. Now, that said, any one fire, like there's a pretty good fire that's developed uh, north of Willamette Pass, that's sending a smoke plume over Ben. But other than under those specific smoke plumes, uh, we think things will be kind of dying down for a couple days as uh, temperatures cool off. The last of the thunderstorms moving through far eastern Oregon this evening, Nick, yeah, just in the north end of the Baker Valley, headed out towards the uh, Wallowa Mountains. Something trying to develop there just north of Cove in uh, Union County, and there could be a thunderstorm in those areas until sunset, I think. So today we were 86, and that's about the same as yesterday. And tomorrow we're going to drop about 8 degrees. So tomorrow, much cooler 70s. Early clouds could produce sprinkles, just a small chance. I bet you most of us don't get sprinkles, but uh, it's going to be gray when you wake up and cool tomorrow morning, slow to warm up. But then Friday is like today, back to warmer and all sunny Friday. I think we'll be in the 80s. Here's the bad news. I think our third heat wave is on the way here. Uh, I suppose not so bad for two reasons. One is we'll just have three days at or above 90 this time instead of... What do we have? Eight days last time. Lower humidity, much lower humidity, although it is possible we touch 100. If it's going to happen, it would happen on Sunday. But now short term, we got this little system moving through British Columbia. They're getting showers up there. They need that. They got some fires. The tail end of this thing is what drags through tonight. That's pulling in all that ocean air. And that's why I think when we wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to be really gray. Take a look at this. 3 a.m., some showers on the coast. Uh, tomorrow when we wake up, very gray in uh, western Oregon and southwest Washington. Uh, East of the Cascades is still sunny. And then look what happens in the afternoon. Those clouds dissipate pretty quickly. Even the coastline looks sunny tomorrow afternoon. And here in the valley is really refreshing. Upper 70s with sun tomorrow afternoon. Then you see that north wind is back along the coastline on Friday. Friday is sunny. And Saturday is sunny as well. The wind's starting to kind of come in more from the north or slight northeast. When that happens, temperatures skyrocket. That's why we think we'll be hot on Saturday. So 78 tomorrow afternoon. Increasing sunshine as we go through the afternoon hours. But I think we will all be gray in the morning. Kind of refreshing, I think, uh, 78. Enjoy that, because then we jump into the mid-80s Friday. Mid-90s on Saturday. It'll turn hot Saturday afternoon. I think Sunday's going to be a scorcher. I put 100. I mean, it might be 98, but, you know, what's a few degrees here? Uh, Monday, mid-90s. And then back in the 80s, more comfortable. We've got a slight chance for a shower Monday night through about Wednesday as a little system scoots by offshore. We'll see about that. I think it's a pretty small chance. We'll be watching that. But, um, yeah, three hot days right in there, Saturday through Monday.